so in this quick video i'm going to teach you guys how to create a gift card website yes if you are if you have wanted to create a gift card website before now this video is for you so gift card website people buy sell and trade gift card this is the website i'm going to be creating right now so before you create this a, a website like that you need a domain name and a web hosting so that is where pms tech comes in so for um for gift card website like that i use pms tech uh you know some of these web, uh, companies if they are not le legally registered they are actually suspended so for this kind of website i use pms tech because it's literally not suspended and you have a free website as far you are not cloning any other company's name so you can get started with them by purchasing a domain name just come here and search for the name you want to use so if you want to use any name just call it maybe dare so it might be directgiftcard.com so you can just search for it and click on search now if you search for it it's available you purchase it and then you be you purchase your hosting and you'll be given a c panel so i'm not here to explain this guys i just want to talk about this as one of the hosting you can make use of i have a full video of how um the best web hosting you can use online so you can watch the video if you want so now if you're giving your hosting you log into your c panel sorry i'm having a bad network connection so if you're giving your hosting you log into your cpanel there's a one click button that just to log into your cpanel and i can't open this cpanel for you guys because there's a lot of projects in there so i'm already logged into my cpanel so this is it this is the cpanel i'm using for this tutorial so that's where i want to create the tutorial on. so there's a complete video on how to buy domain name and hosting from uh pms tech on my youtube channel so you can go there and watch it if you want to and if you want me to be this kind of website for you i will be willing and glad to build it for you so now if you get here to your c panel under your public underscore html just click on upload and there's a link to download this file in the description of this video so just click on the upload and then you select the file from your computer so i'm just going to select it so right now this is the file i've actually selected the file and it's gradually uploading so once you get the file there's a link in the description that you have to click and then it will give you access to this file once you get it upload it on your cpanel just exactly the way you see me doing it it shouldn't have to be too hard just upload it and once you are done you can proceed from there okay now it has actually uploaded if it shows something like um if the color change from blue to green then you know that it has actually uploaded so then you click on go back home and then you'll be taken back to your file manager so i'm going to delete this one so and this one i'm going to extract it so you right click on it and then you click on extract and extract it on your public underscore html so i'm actually extracting it now that i have extracted the click on close then you reload now you have all the file here so now that you have all the file here the next thing you have to do is to come to this setting a lot of people have actually complained on this for me and then you select document root for that website so as you can see i have a lot of website here so i'm going to select the right one then you're going to click show hidden file so now you have the website here so i'm going to click on show using file i'm going to click on save and then it's going to show all the file in this place just in case i'm missing any of them out so now that you have that the next thing is to look for the database now you look for the database at this my sql database so this is the database you download it because we need it in the future if we want to create the um database of this gift card website so once you've done that you are literally good you are literally good the next thing is to go create a database for the website so now let's go create a database so what you have to do is to click on this cpanel area and open it in a new tab so from there you can create the database of the site so let's go 
so now this is our c panel what you just have to do is to look for the database so it's actually on one of these parts but okay this is it now you can do the same thing from database or database wizard so i'm going to use database wizard i'm just going to open right click i like opening it in a new tab so it will be easier for me so i open the new tab and then i can start creating my database so on the database i could say gift card say gift card web gift card web as the database i'm going to click on next you can call it whatever you want to call it it's it all depends on your choice there's no one word for this part so i'm going to give it the same name now for the password i'm going to use this as the password so i don't forget it so i'm going to put this here let me see to so copy that again okay so then i'm pasting this here pasting this here so as you can see i'm clicking on create user now this database has already created the user for me the next thing i'm going to give it all privileges and once i give it all privileges i'm going to click on make changes so once i make changes everything has been created the user and the database has actually been created so i'm just going to copy it from here since i use the same name for both of them and the same password so i'm going to come back to my i'm going to come back to my file manager and i'm going to click on this app now this app there is a file called .env file if you have not seen it do the same thing we discussed last time document with show hidden file save you're going to see all the files here now .env file right click on it click on edit now you edit it just like this so now it's going to open up it's going to show you what you are actually to or where you are actually to put the database so you see this is where you have to put the database so i'm going to paste it here remember i'll use the same thing paste it here i'm going to paste it here so that is the three now the next thing is your domain name so what is my website name or my domain name so this is my own website name so this is my website name so i'm going to copy it come back to the .ev file paste it here as you can see this is the app url so now that i have that save i'm going to click on save so once it's save i'll go back to my php my admin so let's wait for it to save okay now we have it saved so come back to your tools your cpanel look for php my admin so you search for php my admin so this is it you click on it and it's going to open up just like this okay we have it here now this was the one we created just now so i'm going to click on it and then you see this part that says import so i'm going to click on import so now after clicking on import i'm going to click on choose file remember guys this was the one we created gift card web so i'm going to click on this then i'm going to go to my download this is the card this is the database i'm going to click open and then i'm going to import it yes import it so you're going to allow it to import for some time so you give it some time to import sorry guys um i'm very tired and this is about 1 a.m right now and happy new month guys if you are watching this video this is i'm producing this video on the first of june but i don't think you're going to watch this video the first of june um because i'm going to schedule the video i already have video saved for on the first or the to 19 19th yes 19th of june so probably this video will be on the 20th or the last week of june but 
just take comment you could still tell me happy new month guys so i will be appreciate that guys so tell me happy new month in the comment section if you are watching this video even if you're watching this video is in june just tell me happy new month i'll appreciate it. i'm quite tired uh, but we need to do these things because it is very necessary so allow this thing to upload allow the database to upload then you have your website done Okay guys, we have it installed now. As you can see, it has been installed. Import has been successfully executed. 124 queries executed. So now, remember to save this one. And now you just go to your website name and you're gonna see your gift card website. So let's enter. Okay, uh, remember also guys, there's one other thing you need to do, you have to change your PHP version, so let me go to my website, set your PHP, PHP, yes, I'm going to use the multi PHP manager to change my PHP version to ensure that it's working perfectly. So as you can see, this is the PHP version I want to change, I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to move it to 7.4 I'm going to click on apply so now that the PHP version is 7.4 I'm going to go back to load and then click enter so hooray this is our gift card website it's loading and welcome to our gift card website guys here you can buy sell and trade gift card as you can see so this is it so let's sign up and see how it looks so click on sign up So now I agree. I'm going to click on sign up. So this is our gift card website. This is how it looks as you can see. Our available balance, pending withdrawal, total exchange, pending exchange as you can see. So we can trade crypto, sell gift card, um, sell crypto, look at our trading history, gift card history, crypto history, deposit history. We can message um, support from here support create support ticket account verification account security and my account so this is how your site is as you can see guys it's very sleek you can even send a whatsapp message to the admin of the site you can check your commission or convert and i think this site is one of the best out there for gift card creation website so guys now let's visit the admin panel and see how it looks like in the admin area so let's go So now let's visit the admin. So to visit the admin, you just have to go to the website is admin slash admin. Now as you go to the website is admin slash admin, you're gonna click enter. Now this is where it asks you for your admin username and admin password. Okay guys, so let's log into the admin. Now to get your admin details, you go back to your uh, PHP my admin. So you just come here and if you want, you can delete this other account. It's not necessary. So you just come here copy the email address you come here put it here paste it then the password to this so this is the password to it so you do test test one two three four 
so that's the password to it guys so test one two three four then you click on sign in so once you once you've written it then you come here you click on sign in and then it takes you directly to the dashboard so i don't want to save this so as you can see this is the dashboard this is how the dashboard look like and this is it so this is where you trade the gift card this is the gift card manage the gift card if you can see the type of gift card pending exchange when someone exchange the gift card this is where you see it so this is where the gift card shows up on and then you um take it and test if it's actually working or sell it whatever you want to do with it so this is where someone sells um they are trades crypto with you this is where you approve and um disapprove crypto withdrawal um crypto trading this is where you actually do your withdrawal when um, someone actually try to make withdrawal this is where you approve the withdrawal and credits the client this is where you see your customers you ban the customer and actually remove the customers from the site this is a ticket this is a ticket where someone reports or make a complaint from the front end you're going to receive it here this is where you set your rate settings as you can see this is how you set your rates you can set it from here so then this is your front end setting your about your contact and the rest so guys that's it for the admin session it's very easy so i like this site though i love this site so if you want to get it there's a link in the description to get the website so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'm going to see you on my next tutorial guys so bye for now guys see you on my next tutorial bye bye